Oh, come on. I'm not trying to be rude, but I was really looking forward to the Diamond Dimension. If you don't do Diamond Dimensions, I'll stop watching your channel. I do not approve of this mod. I love this mod pack. Oh, wait. That last person likes it. Okay, 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 I get it. You guys want me to play on the Diamond Dimensions mod pack again. All right, well, here it is. Here is the world, all right? I can I can press on it and I can press play. And here we are in the world. Yes, it is a cool mod pack, okay, and I do enjoy it. Now, a lot of you seem a little upset when uh, I, I didn't do it. <laughs> I did a different mod pack. So, basically, I, I'm going to explain a little things, a few things about mod packs, all right? So, first of all, the Diamond Dimensions mod, mod pack, it is a combination of mods. And uh, the mod pack I'm doing has a lot of the same mods in it, like for example Tinker's Construct, um, like the more biomes one, the, uh, the, the added mobs, all sorts of things. So there's a lot of things that are like the same. So, you know, while you might have been a bit upset that, you know, it was missing certain things, um, you know, it does have the same mods in a lot of the time. It's, and other people are saying I'm doing the same mod pack. The new mod pack is exactly the same as the one Dan TDM is doing now. He's doing one called Farming Valley. I'm doing one called Awakening. But again, they have a lot of the similar mods like Tinker's Construct. Uh, the, the thing with the sky, like having a rainbow, that's the same. But his is all about seasons and farming and stuff. So I thought I'd just clear that up. And also the Diamond Dimensions mod pack, which I'm playing right now, isn't the official mod pack that Dan TDM actually did. Um, it's actually just a, a, a remake. So it's a bit more glitchy. It's not got all the exact same mods that he did either. Um, look at the size of these lily pads. Okay, I did not know that was a thing. <laughs> oh my goodness, why have I come? Okay, I should probably, cause I should probably not walk around when, uh, yeah, yeah, that is, that is crazy. So, yeah, like, it's not the official one, which is kind of why I wanted to do an official mod pack that was, like, you know, not going to be glitchy at all and have everything working absolutely fine and have, like, quests and stuff. That's kind of the reason why I did it. But I still get the fact that you guys want me to play more on the Diamond Dimension. So, here's, here's what I'm going to do, okay? I'm going to continue my series on the Awakening mod pack, which I started. However, I'm also, uh, you know, I'm going to compromise. So, today, we're going to do a video on the Diamond Dimensions mod pack right here. And I'm thinking maybe we could do, like, live streams, uh, which I'll stay, I'll keep on the channel as well. Why is it rain over there? I think that's where I don't want to go. Um, yeah, I'll do live streams on the channel on this mod pack as well, I'm thinking. So, you know, we can do like an hour live stream or something. You guys can come and watch that and yeah, leave it up on the channel. So then, you know, nobody's missing out. The people that like the other mod pack can see that, but the people who still want to see me play on this Diamond Dimensions one can also uh, see that as well. So hopefully that is a... Uh, a good compromise in the middle for you guys. So many back to this portal. We're currently in the Twilight Forest dimension and I kind of want to check out what this place is here and also... What has happened to my face? I don't know. What is attacking me as well? All right. Um, maybe I don't want to go over there. I'm going to go and check it out. Okay. But you remember, if we go over here, it does all this like craziness. Are you ready? It'll start like doing... Look, it's defenses kick in. And it's like, okay, well, what do I do? I think this stops you from breaking any blocks, which means you kind of have to find an entrance. But... Uh, I've not found an entrance yet. I found a mysterious book lying around. What is this book? What does it say? Does it tell me notes on the highlands? Notes on the pointy tower. What's all about the pointy tower? So the general gist of the book is basically saying that I have to find a snake-like monster and get its scale to uh, to remove the curse of this and get into this tower, basically. So, yeah, I don't know where I'll find a snake-like monster and I don't really fancy fighting one either, so... I think I think that's a good uh, a good time to maybe just go home. Here we are, home sweet home, back in the village. Look at this. So uh, we can go into here, and uh, this is my little cave. Hello, buddy. <laughs> yeah, I know he's he's never been able to get out of his house, and he's ended up in the cave. Poor guy. I should make it so he can actually get out. To be fair, um, I don't know what I, I would use to do that. I can use these fancy blocks that I brought back. I don't know what they they do, but if I go like that, there you go, mate. You can you can get in and out, and then what we can do is we can mine away at this. And this guy, he'll be able to, uh, he'll be able to, at least, he has an option to get out. He probably doesn't want to anymore. I think he's pretty happy in this cave. Look at me, he's roaming about. You're on one health, mate. Yeah, you're not going to last much longer. I, if I could heal you, I would, but I have nothing to do with that, okay? Well, I don't need to go mining. We can we can do some exploring, because we have pretty OP stuff. Maybe food would be a good thing, but yeah, I, I don't know. We have pink diamonds. We have all sorts of crazy diamonds. All right, see you later, mate. You don't have any food for me. I'm I'm off on uh, on a journey. Is that what I think it is? A damsel in distress trapped by lava? Well, I can help her, okay? I'm gonna use these reappearing blocks, which which didn't reappear for me, but there you go. All right, let's 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 remove this lava. Where's the lava? Who broke this anyway? Come on, it's meant to be a nice, you know, regular volcano, okay? Nothing's gonna help me through the darkness, apparently. Well, no darkness will get the better of me. Is this, look at that. You're, you're free to go now. You're free to go, damsel in distress. That's right, I'll build you. I'll even build you to, whoa, another one. You don't, careful, lava is dangerous, okay? Don't mind me, but. Your safety is always important, okay? I'm gonna try and build a staircase. Oh, they do reappear. Oh, you right-click them. Oh, that's cool. That is really cool. Oh, they do reappear then. The myth was not true. Well, the, the, the legend is true. Okay. Don't mind me. I'll just mine this tree for you. Don't you worry. Okay. Oh, sorry. I just placed another block there. I'm, I'm not the best of helpers, really. I'm gonna be honest with you. If I actually mine away at this, there you go. 
There you- Whoa! Where did you guys come from? Fear not, I've created a bed, I can go to sleep and this darkness will be gone. Perfect, I'm gonna take this with me, and we're gonna carry on. I wanna see what this is all about, it looks like some spawner room. Have I been here before, do you think? Uh, it spawns in ghost pumpkin skellies. They sound scary. Whoa, I'm, I'm rats, get out of here, you. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, I got a ruby. Uh, rare for these rats, what have you got in here? More beds. <laughs> Okay, I was not expecting there to be more beds in here. An iron sword. Iron swords are, are, are useless, let's be honest. Oh, can I? What on? Where, what? Oh, okay. Ants, get out of here as well, you little termites. What have we got in here? Okay, I'm leaving. See you later. I'm getting attacked. And they're taking it apart, those termites, right? I'll see you later. I think they turned uh, wood to dirt or something. Yeah, we'll, we'll carry on exploring. Hope you don't mind, villagers. I'm just in desperate need to steal your carrots. Yep, I'm low on food. Look at that. You've got ants all over your crops as well. Yep, yep, you probably didn't know about that, but I've exposed that. So in stealing your crops, I don't know. I'm almost tempted to kill your cows as well, but I'd, I'd feel extra bad if I did that. So I'll not do that. Okay, I'm just going to take these carrots. It'll keep me going until the next village. Oh, okay. What? Oh, my God. Oh, no, this is bad. This is bad. Those things are the creepiest things I've ever seen. I've, I've seen them before, but I, I don't think I can fight these. I don't have the hunter experience, apparently, even though I could totally take them with my sword. But uh, those are creepy things. Very, very creepy and scary. Yeah, let's um, let's just run away as far as we can. I would not build a village there if I were you guys. I, I, would, I would just stay well away from that, personally. Look at that. Pit of lava. Are you ready? Can I... What are you? You could, yeah, I don't need a hundred experience to take you out, buddy. Oh no, it's not another one, is it? Oh dear. All right, you you get out of here, you old hag. Yep, hag by name and hag by nature. That's for so sure. Yeah, uh, we're not going near that. No way, sir. No way, Jose. Okay, right. Let's um, let's go this way. Is this back? Have I gone in a circle? Is this like another village that have been built right next? It is another village. Are you guys stupid? Why would you build it right next to these things? Like, you just what? What the nerf? Okay, and now I just walked into a cobweb. I was like, did this cobweb just bounce me up? And I just realized I just walked into it like, an oh my goodness, what are you guys? Uh, get out of here, you, you, you chompers. Come on then. Oh, they're fighting each other as well. Okay, well, that, that's... Where are these cobwebs coming from? Whoever it is, stop throwing cobwebs at me. I think it's those creepy things. I'm I'm I so close to... Excuse me, sir. I, I recommend we get inside. We're under attack. Yes, I brought the attack here. Yep, stay inside, mate. All right, even though I've locked you out of your own house. Okay, there we go. We lost them. Look at that. Brilliant work, okay? I don't know what of all the biomes, the swamp is pretty much the most terrifying. I see something in the sky. Well, you can't look at something in the sky like that and actually not go and see what it is. I have to say, I do like the fact that there's so many villages everywhere. I mean, I wouldn't build it personally in a swamp, but these guys know how to live. Oh, look at this, a blacksmith. Is there anything in here for me? Diamonds. You know what? Diamonds. Yeah, I will take diamonds. You can't say no to diamonds, can you? I'm going to leave a few more things here as well, because... Honestly, I just have too much junk lying around. I can offer anybody one emerald. What will you give me for one emerald? Uh, for cousin of Fred? No, you're going to rip me off, aren't you? You want a book? A written book? Go on, then. See you later, mate. I'll, I'll just give you that, but I have another one here, actually, if you want it. Yeah. Totally written by me. Nope, not just found it lying around on the ground. There you go. I have another written book. Look at that. Tra trading with these villagers, it's, it's, it actually is working out. I have to say, this tree capitator mod is probably the best mod I've ever used. Look at that. Entire trees just falling right. I mean, it makes sense. It's it's literally like, you know, if you break a tree, the whole thing is going to collapse under normal circumstances. So I totally think this mod is completely fine. You know, don't don't disagree with it at all. Okay, right. Let's let's start building. So we're just going to do the old. Should we do a staircase? Should we should we do a staircase? And then we can at least we can get there at least if we need to again. So yeah, we'll just we'll just staircase our way up and um, we'll see what's up there. I don't believe it. This guy followed me all the way up here. Are are you kidding me? Um, yeah, I'm just gonna leave him there, you know, I ain't getting in his way, okay? Um, yeah, I'm just gonna build up here now. <laughs> he just walked up all those stairs to get to me. I don't know. Right, what have we got up here? It's pretty cool looking grass. It's slimy grass. Oh, it's slimes. A blue slime, can I? Oh, oh, I've been pulled in. I felt like I got pulled in there. What is this? Oh, it's like a, a weird... Okay, this is cool. Watch this. Are you ready? I'd... Oop. Okay, no, this is weird. I was, I was about to say it, like, it boosts you up, but I'm not sure, to be honest. All right, but anyway... Slimes defeated. Alrighty. There's just loads of baby slimes. We'll leave them be. What is this tree? I, I can't even get out of this water now. <laughs> this is a sad day, isn't it? I'm basically trapped in here. Right, let me... Can I jump up? I see the like does a cool little boost thing. Congealed green slime. Well, let's let's see. I don't know what this is all about. Wait, can I do the whole tree capat... No, I can't do that. Wait, can I? No. I'll, uh, what is it? Capat... Capapate... Capacitate... <laughs> I can't even say it anymore. I don't know why. I'm not even going to try and say it anymore. Decapitator. There we go. I forgot the D bit. Okay, right. All right. So this is all that there was up here. Basically slime, which I guess is kind of cool, but probably pointless unless I actually need it for somebody. Is that Chomper still there? 
No, he is. Look at him. All right, we're just going to jump off, okay? This could go wrong if I hit a lily pad, but you know me. I never miss my jump. Right, what have we got? I should probably sleep, to be honest, and then we can explore a little bit better. We've got some very creepy stuff over there. What is that next to him? I kind of want to actually see what he is, actually. A, a dark beast. Well, no dark beast scares me. Let's go. What have we got over there? Chompers, you guys are just annoying. All right, come on then, dark beast. This is where you find out you're not enough of a hunter level. Oh, look at this. You actually... Oh, my goodness. You you guys are actually terrible. Like, they give me blindness and everything. Okay, right. I'm going to block it. Yeah, yeah, that's right. He's also not doing any damage. Look at that. One down. And you're going down as well, sir. Yes, that's right. Okay. I, I guess taking them out was a good thing, right? Probably not. This is where, like, a thousand more... Uh-oh. There are monsters nearby. Yeah, yeah, I was better off out on the lake, wasn't I? Okay. What is this? That's the guy that killed me before, isn't it? That's, you're the guy that took me out in the cave. Yes, yeah, scrubby. I'm not having that again. Yeah, the tables have turned now. Chompers, if I didn't have this amazing armor, I'd be so dead in this series. <laughs> Without a shadow of a doubt, right? Can I sleep here? I can. Perfect. I've seen a few more things knocking about. I want to explore what they are. Well, this is what I was referring to. It's, it's literally, I can't even describe it, to be honest. I don't know what it is. What the point? Another village over the wall. Another flooded village. I don't know. We found a lot of these, haven't we? Who are these guys? Sasquatches. Well, I don't know why you're coming up to fight me. You have, like, no health at all, okay? I, I'm going to be... Oh! Golden apple cows. Yeah, I'm sorry, cows, but you cannot say no to free golden apples. This is the only mob. What, what are you? I thought that was a little dinosaur coming towards me. Then <laughs> turned out to have a, a dinosaur on his head. I, I I couldn't take you out. You know what? You look like you're, you're a great friend. Okay, we've got more golden apples. Perfect. I think, yes, it's a dark oak village or something, which definitely needs to be added to, like, the actual Minecraft, I think. Like, the vanilla. They need to add more village types, without a doubt. Like, they are slowly, but they just need to add them all in one update. I'm, I'm sorry, but that, that just has to happen, like... Look at this. How cool is this? You have a great village, sir. I think you've built it nicely. Lovely houses. Much better than those ones that... What are you doing? Get out of it. I just, you know, as I'm saying, it's a great village. Um, You know, not over water and all flooded like those other guys' villages. I have to, I have to say, this is a very nice job. What have we got here? Horndrons. Okay, Horndron. Whoa. You're not coming to attack me, are you? Let's see. Yep. Okay, well, you don't pack the biggest punch. Look at you. You're like the slowest guy I've ever seen as well. Let's go. You want to go? That's right. What do you drop me, Holandron? Nothing. Well, that was a waste of time. Well, I found a lucky block. You all may want to stand back. Yep, you keep your distance, buddy. Okay. Anything could happen here. TNT! Um, you know what? You cannot say no to TNT. Even though I don't have much use for it. Oh my goodness, there's a whole lot of those Cyclops guys over there. Not that they're really going to do any damage. They're just annoying, you know? If you can stay away, you will. Is that another slime island? At least we know what they are now. We don't have to, you know... Yeah, I'm not going to be eternally seeing them and be like, well, what is that? What is that exactly? Is this a cat? We've got a kitty cat. Oh, now this is what cats should be like in Minecraft. You know, more like cats. I suppose cats are like cats, but you know, I think that's cool. Just to see them wandering about. An acacia village over there. Beavers. Look at this. Beavers and what are those over there? They're like El, El, El Canyon. Why are you all attacking me, El Canyon? I don't have enough hunter experience, apparently. I'm, I'm running away. Beavers, you better not attack me, okay? I've I'm, I'm kind of got about six people after me already. Well, whatever we hear, ram ahead. Is he going to come and ram me? Oh, and I can't attack you. I don't have enough hunter's experience. And those guys are fast. He's faster than me. Yeah, this is a this is a tough situation. I don't know how this happened, but I'm now hiding in a tree from two terrifying ram heads, which I don't have the ability to take out. And over there is one of those creepy tree men as well. I, I don't want to go over there. What's that over there? A bear. Okay, the bears, from what I can understand, are friendly. I, I hope. And there's a village. Maybe I should seek refuge. I don't know. I, I think I've just got to run for it. Hopefully they don't see me. Oh no, they see me, alright. <laughs> of course they see me. Oh! Oh no, there's another ram head. It just hit me into the path of another ram head and something else attacked me. They, what are they, guys? You're not just gonna like play pinball with me. No, this is not what I signed up for. And what is that? That's like a, a three-headed monster thing over there. A lucky block. Save me, lucky block. A well. Maybe you should throw in a coin. Uh, you've just glitched me in. Okay, that's not helping at all. I, I, you know, I'm not throwing it. My wish came true. What was my wish? I didn't wish for it. I didn't even throw a coin, okay? Just, just leave me alone, please. I don't see how this is a good thing, but I'm now in a desert. There's probably a million other things that are trying to take me out. We got away from the rammer heads on the plus side. We found a random building. What is going to be in this building? Please, nothing scary. At least be something, though. Okay? <laughs> Not only was there nothing scary, was there was nothing at all. What are you? Let me guess. You you can't be taken out. Oh, you can be taken out. Good, okay? Sand golem. Nah. Not quite as good. What's that? Big cat. Look at this. Are you friendly? Oh, the big cats are friendly. Look at this. I, if I had a fish, I'd give you one, but actually, I would eat it if I had a fish, but yeah, it's the point that counts, all right? Actually, a cool a cool little uh, area. This, like, I haven't really seen much of this in the mob pack. I did see the oil and a bit of the desert. I keep hearing that, like, that noise, and I don't know what it means. Okay, oil. Oh, it's the wind carrying me beneath my feet. Well, do that, wind. 
Oh, we have a desert temple. I'm one of those guys. Fur lions, okay, and 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 sand golems. Let's go ahead and, and check out the desert temple. Nope, you can't come in, sir. I'm afraid that this is only for me. And I'll edit. I'll, yeah, form an orderly queue. I'll deal with you all when I'm uh, I'm finished in here. Okay, we have at the bottom here. Okay, I need to not land on the pressure plate. Oof, that was actually closer than it should have been, to be honest, to, to not land in. Alrighty, what do we have here? No, I, what what on earth has happened here? Okay, I, no, please. Oh, diamonds. Nice. You know what? You can't say no. Free diamonds. Free got Yeah, I'm not too bothered about gold and iron. Worm. I don't know what that's all about. And I. All right. Well, it was nice visiting you. Kind of a waste of time, but still good to see what these place has to offer. All right, as promised, I'm ready. Okay, who's first? You are Sangolm. I, I think this, uh, this little guy with the desert charger was there first. Now we can deal with you. And you, sir, you didn't even have a ticket. Get out of here. Look at this. It's an elephant. Very realistic. Com considering this is Minecraft, you're the most realistic elephant I've ever seen. You better not attack me, Furline. Where did he go? Oh, he's over there. I was like, oh my god. <laughs> Every time he hits me, he gets a fling off. Look, ready. I'm sure this is doing more damage to you than it is to me, mate. Yeah, it's actually just funny to watch. I say he's not that easy to attack. How far back can I kind of take you out? There we go. No, he's actually... To us, this... Like, if I was trying to take this guy out, like, for seriously, it would be tough. But, okay, elephants, I heard they're quite rare in the desert. But, good to see you, elephant. I shan't harm you, as you're not trying to kill me. Which is pr pretty rare in this place. And I believe I've spotted a goat. Look at this. And what is this? This is a... A tiny goat. You're the smallest goat I've ever seen. Actually, mm, compared to the sheep, you're pretty small. Like, you're massive. And then look at this hat. Yeah, this definitely, you must be a baby. Look at that. You're tiny compared to that, that guy. Okay, well, made my way back home. Don't ask how I managed to die right by this portal. Okay, I just don't want to talk about it. But, uh, yeah, I was thinking we could go ahead and make a nether portal and go to the nether and see what that has to offer. Um, I've explored a lot of the overworld and I think I've seen a lot of stuff, but... I think in the nether there might be new stuff to see. So, there's a bit of lava up here, so I'm thinking we can turn that into obsidian. I'm sure this pickaxe can, can break it, all right? So we just go ahead and... I don't know how we're going to do this, to be honest. I tell you what, we'll just go like that. There we go. That, that works, doesn't it? Okay, even though it's kind of a little bit wasteful, it does the job, and then that all turns obsidian. I don't know if we're going to have quite enough obsidian, but it'll get me going at least. So there's the first portal. Let's go and build it right here. Uh, yeah, we need to use some, like, some random blocks in the corners. We'll just use wood, and then, uh, you know, I don't waste anything. So one, two, three. We'll go ahead and put the other one here, and then one, two, three. Oh, okay, that was wrong. <laughs> there we go. Put that there, put that there. Two obsidian. All right, I now need some flint and steel. And this villager is still living down here with his one health. I don't think he dares go outside, as he has, like, no health. Uh, so I have the iron that I need. I do kind of need to, um... Just to get myself some gravel. Is he going further down? Are you crazy? You must be crazy. Okay, I, I, I admit I pushed you that time. Uh, yeah, I need to find some gravel somewhere. I'm sure there'll be some down here. Ta-da! There we go. <laughs> I'm so proud of myself. All right, let's go. So this is the nether. I have no idea what to expect, but already I see some some scary looking creatures over here. Um, may I may I see what what you are? You are you are an ogre, and you are a, a hellcat. Okay, uh, well, you get out of here. Oh, no match for me, though. Absolutely no match for this purple sword, which apparently goes through everything, anything and everything. What is this? I think this is all full of, like, lava mobs and stuff. It's actually a super creepy place. Whoa, the pigmen are hostile? What's this all about, pigmen? Get out of here. Oh, no. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Pigmen, just calm it down, all right? There's no need for that. This is actually making the nether slightly more terrifying. Like, that guy, he looks pretty creepy as well. Um... Hello, sir. Uh, Could you be? Oh my goodness, what are you? Okay, these guys. Oh my goodness, why did I go to the Never? What is going on? I'm, it's, it's, I, I'm gonna die. Here. I'm gonna die in the Never tonight. Like I can't even take out this guy. Why? Whose idea was it to go to the Never? Eh, I don't want to talk about it. All right, this guy is down. Look at that. These guys don't take. Not easy. If I knew what I was looking for, and I actually wanted to pick stuff up, I would. But yeah, I have no idea. So this looks like a Nether fortress. Although it looks. I don't know if it's if it's your regular. Why is there an ant's nest? A red ant's nest here. All right, in the Nether. Just wait. What you'd expect. This looks like a pretty regular Nether fortress. I don't know if there's any like other stuff. What are you? You are. Oh my goodness. All these different mobs that I don't want to see. Like my goodness. There's like all the mobs, but then there's like the the Nether versions of them here, which is is slightly worrying. Oh my goodness. I nearly just fell down a massive gap. I, I, I'm gonna die here. I, I mean, I'm just gonna accept that. Okay. What are those? They're like. I want to say they're like zombie cowmen. <laughs> Honestly, they're like the pigmen, but they're, they're, they're in a cow skin. Don't tell me you are. You're a skeletal cowman. Oh, that's brilliant. Oh, my goodness. You are way better than a normal skeleton. I have to say, I'll, I'll, leave, you, I'll leave you alone. My goodness. Talk about, like, why could I not have an arrow like that? It's like a... 
I don't know, a crazy rapid fire arrow system. Okay, um, I'm gonna see if there's like any structures I can find though. And despite all these new additions, you ghast are still the most terrifying thing. Okay, what is punching me in the back? I'm dead. I'm so dead. I'm so dead. I'm so dead. I can't. I can't survive this. There's no way I'm getting out of this life. I've not. I'm, I've, I've not been eating. What am I doing? Don't hit me, ghast. A direct hit and I'm dead. Regen health, please. Regen. Get me out of this life. Why am I not regen? I'm regening. Thank goodness for that. Okay. I was so close to death there. It was at that moment that SP realized he had an enchanted golden apple. He had four of them and have like seven regular golden apples. So. Yeah, I really have no excuse to die here, to be honest, like, <laughs> I just eat one of them and it's like all my problems solved. Yeah, in fact, I could probably take out one of you guys. Yeah, that's right. Wow, those guys are pretty tough, but I managed to take one out at least. Oh no, gas everywhere. It's just fire everywhere. What a nightmare. But I'd initially thought that this was just like a nether fortress, but it, it seems to be that there's a little bit more to this one, actually. It's not a nether fortress, is it? There's, there's some sort of spawners in it or something. Um, this is probably a bad idea, but what is it? A Nethenjaic spawner. What are they? Do I want to see what they are? No, I don't do that. Ah, well, we'll wait. We'll, we'll see if it spawns anything. <laughs> I really, I really don't want to, but maybe it just spawns all sorts of never stuff. You feel the wind carry beneath it. Now's not the time. I don't think it's going to spawn anything. Probably for the best. Probably for the best. What are you guys all trying to get in here for? Look, you come in here, all right? It's pretty, it's not rocket science. That's it. Get out of here, all of it. I don't know, but I think I've seen pretty much all there is to see in the never. Then again, I've just found that random thing and it did nothing. So maybe there is more to see, but I think I think I'm ready to go home. Okay, here we are. Home sweet home. So see you later, scary mobs. Oh, go away, please get out of here. I'm trying to go home here. Can't you see? <laughs> Alrighty, so yeah, I think I think we explored the nether quite well. We've explored a lot of stuff. I don't really know what else to do in this mod pack. I'm gonna be honest with you. So wherever I do do more live streams on it and uh, videos and stuff will depend, okay? It will depend if I can find more stuff to do, basically. So if you know what else can be done in this mod pack, feel free to let me know. Um, there's a link to download it as well in the description, so you can always check that out. But yeah, make sure to leave a like if you enjoyed this video and want to see more of it. And of course, subscribe if you're new to the channel as well. So yeah, thank you very much for watching, and hopefully I will see you guys next time. And yes, I still have no face.